Hello students, welcome back to our channel Diksha Karnataka. So as you all know, there is only one week left for your KSET 2024 exam. So in this video, I'll be discussing some important time management tips. So if you can see, there is like some 80 minutes for you to write the exam, right? So and you can give some 10 minutes time for filling up the details and all. So roughly we can say there will be one minute for one question, right? So how exactly you have to use this time so that you can solve the questions? We will be discussing that in this video. So please look at all the steps that I am telling you, all the tips that I am telling you. It will definitely help you to perform better and score well in your exam. Okay. So first of all, just see here. The, there is not like one minute, one question means you have to exactly give one minute for every question. Okay. So that is what we will discuss in the upcoming uh, slides. Now, what is the basic approach of solving a question? So first of all, you should read the question carefully, right? After that, you have to understand in the question what you need to find. So to, to do this part, you just note down the given data and then you can find out what data is asked. Now, says always it is like what is given, okay, and what is asked. These two things, you must be clear. Next, we have think of the approach. So you have to think whether what is the formula to be applied, which calculation has to be done somewhere. It's not like direct formula can be applied. We have to find one quantity first and then find the another quantity. So we have to think of the approach and then you have to solve the problem and then take care of the calculation and then you have to mark the right answer, right? This is the basic approach that you have been following from day one from a very child, any child who is solving questions, follow this method. There's nothing new in that, right? But now here I want to give you an example. These two questions came in the same year of the paper, okay? You can see this question for a spontaneity of a cell which is correct, okay? This question will take you hardly 5 to 10 seconds if you know the concept. You can easily click the answer delta G should be negative. So that is there here and it will take another 5 seconds or 10 seconds to mark the answer, right? Now, but if you see this question, this question is from the Latimer diagram MN7 plus 2 plus 2 is given 1.5 volt plus 4 to plus 2 is given then plus 7 to plus 4 is asked. So to do this question, you will require more time, right? We may not be able to solve it exactly in one minute. So what you have to do, whatever time that we have saved from this question should be utilized here, right? So this is not from the same, this is from the same chapter, but that applies to every question, right? So that is basically you have to learn how to save time in the exam so that you can solve all the questions in proper time, okay? So let us see. So in this video, now I'll be telling you some important tips and tricks that you must follow. Clear? So the first one is practice time management. Okay. So here, like for example, in chemistry, we have three different sections like physical chemistry, organic chemistry and inorganic chemistry. So according to my knowledge, like according to my uh, suggestion, physical chemistry has more, it will require more time because it has more calculation. So now suppose an inorganic has no, no more calculations, hardly some magnetic moment calculation, such things are there. And for organic chemistry, you need not have any calculation, but you have to think of the approach, any exceptions, anything you have to think of it. So like suppose we have this 60 minutes. So how, when you are doing this mock test, you have to practice. How can you divide this? Like whether you are get, get, giving it 30, 15, 15 minutes or what are, what is your strategy, how you are solving? You have to just find that in your mind, okay? Like I'll be solving all the physical chemistry questions in 30 minutes, rest 15, 15, or you can give 20, 20, 20. Based on that, you have to find out. So this, this one you have to do time management practice when you are solving the mock test. I'll be telling about that in the end also. So when you're solving the mock test, have a, uh, like in your mindset, you should have like first 30 minutes, I should finish all the physical chemistry questions. Next 15 minutes, I'll try to finish all the inorganic questions. And next 15, I'll start with the organic chemistry. Or else if you're, strength part is organic you start with organic okay next skip strategically this is very very important and one of the most important things that you must follow in the exam do not get emotionally connected with any question you might be knowing that question you might but if it is a lengthy question if you are not able to solve at that point of time please keep that question you can come back to it after if you have saved the time if you have some time remaining you can come back and come to this question and solve it but now if you are if you are engaged with this question completely and later when you are like you find some very easy questions towards the end but you cannot solve it because you wasted your time in this question so just see read a question if it can be solved then solve it if it is little lengthy and you know the approach then please keep it for the last and if you are not able to solve it then definitely skip it go to the next question okay next 
So first point is you have to practice time management. When will you practice this? When you are doing the mock test, have a mindset that 30 minutes I'll be doing physical, 20 and 20, whatever, however you distribute, that is according to your day of strength and weakness. Second is you should know that I have to skip the question. Okay, you should not be completely engaged into that and time is going, but you are keeping on solving that question. So second is very important that you have to skip the question if you are not able to solve it. Now, what is the third point? Eliminate wrong answers. Okay, why this is important? See here. Whenever we have more choices, okay, we get more confused. If you read a question and you don't know the answers, so just find out which are the answers that cannot be the answer for the question. Which options cannot be the answer? Now, suppose we have four options A, B, C, and D. Okay, and you have found out that B and C is not working. Okay, these are these cannot be the answer. Now, your thought process will be very simple. You can sim uh, like think. Either A and D, you can read the question, you can recollect some things and you can find out. So it will become easy if you start eliminating the answers. So whenever you find difficulty in any question, try to eliminate the options that cannot be the answer. Okay. Next, use shortcut techniques. This is very important to save a lot of time. For example, you can use different like, for example, one question is, has come from bond order, right? Bond order can be calculated using the molecular orbital diagram formula and then taking anti-bonding minus bonding by 2, you can solve it. But there is also tricks for that how to calculate the bond order quickly like if 14 it is 3, 13 it is 2.5. So that will, so it's such tricks if you know that will help you to save a lot of time. That is first thing you should know some certain tricks. You can also have tricks to find the products of aldol condensation, right? So these tricks you, are, you might have studied or you just recollect them in the exam. Don't go for the conventional methods. Then you can also have some this calculation techniques, okay? Like, for example, you can remember certain values, okay? What is the, like we have in the NERST equation, like NRT uh, 2.303 RT by NF, right? This value, if you can remember, that is 0 0.059. It can save you a lot of time, right? Similarly, certain values you can remember. You can have this value like H by 4 pi, okay? What is this value coming? These values you can remember. So that will help you in easy calculations, okay? Next prioritize the questions this is very important this is all not only important for your exam like not for the strategy but also for your mindset always start with the questions that you find easiest okay what will be the effect of this when you start with the easiest question you are confident that you are able to do it your mindset will be positive and the rest of the questions you will be able to tackle the difficult questions also but in case you have started with the question which you are not sure of and the first three four questions goes very wrong then your mindset will be very negative. You will not be able to find the correct answers for the easiest questions also, right? So it is very always important to start with the easiest questions and to start with your strength questions. Okay, whichever questions are your strength, start with them. That will help you a positive mindset and that will help you to do the difficult questions. You will be calm. You can think about it, okay? So very important this one. Next, stay calm and focused. See here. Was first of all, whenever you are solving a question, if you are not able to even solve it, just, just think that if this question is difficult for you, it will be difficult for others also, right? So do not panic at that time. Panicking will not help you in any, any way. It will rather ruin the situation more, okay? So just keep, if, not, if one question you are not able to do, just leave it. Go for the next question. Go for the next question. Until you have read all the questions, do not lose hope. Just trust your preparation. You have it. And sometimes it may happen that at particular time you may not recall that answer after uh, solving five seven questions you can come back and you might have recollected the formulas or the concepts regarding it right so that it is very important that you have to be calm and composed mindset that also you should practice during the mock test when you are writing okay now if you have the, this panic what will happen if you get panic it can lead to silly mistakes and you can also like read the question you cannot read the question properly some few datas are given you are not able to focus on that right okay so now these are the tips that I'll, I'll let us summarize the tips quickly. First is you have to practice time management. Next is you have to skip the questions. You should not be connected emotionally to any question. You have to skip them. Don't think like that. I have practiced this question so many times. I have to do it. It is not like that. Okay. You have to be very strategically. You have to skip the questions. Next, you have to eliminate wrong answers. Whenever you are confused in any questions, try to eliminate the options. Next, you have to use shortcut techniques. Then you have to start with the easiest questions. 
and then you have to stay calm and composed in the exam. Now, these are the tips. Where will you implement it? How will you, will it, will it come in one day in the exam hall? No, right? So, now this one week, last one week, whatever mock test you are writing, 2, 3, 4 or 7 mock tests, whatever you are writing, follow these steps, okay? Make yourself habituated to this. Then it, in the exam, it will be reflected, okay? So, while writing the mock test, always start with the questions that you are confident with. Physical chemistry, you are more confident. Kinetics chapter, you are more confident. Start with kinetics question. Five, read the question paper first and then start with all the questions that you are confident with. Next, skip the questions if you don't know the approach at all. Like some questions came, you don't know even A, B, C, nothing you know about that question. There is no point of thinking. You cannot do just, you can guess randomly, you can guess because there is no negative marking. But that you can leave at that point of time. You can later think and just put the answer, okay. Now, if you try to solve the questions using elimination method whenever necessary, what is it? So, so that when you read a question, there is two possibilities, right? Either you know the question or you don't know the question. If you don't know nothing about that, you, you cannot do anything, you have to leave it. If you know the question, there is another two ways that it is easy or it is difficult, right? So, if it is easy, do it at that point of time. If you find it is difficult, it will take more time. You can do, you can leave it for that. You can complete all the questions and then come back. Because the time that you have invested in this question should not like, you, you. it should not be like that you are losing other questions because of this, okay? Next, whenever you find, if it is difficult, okay, but you know something about it, you can try different methods here, right? You can try elimination method here, okay? You can try elimination method here. You can do proper easy calculations you can use, right? So, this can be there. So, first of all, you have to read a question. If you know it, do it. If you find, if you know it but it is difficult, leave it for some time, read all the questions and then come back. Time is very important. Case it questions are not difficult, the levels are not difficult but their time management is very important in this point of time. Okay, next, mark the questions where you allotted more time. So, this is a practice session that you have to do when you are solving the mock test. Just keep in mind which questions you are taking more time, okay? So, what you have to do after this, just find, just see the solutions of this mock test. Is there any way other, any simple way or any other trick is there to solve the question that you have to find out, right? So, for this, you can contact your teachers, you can see search net, you can see the solutions. So, just find out, like suppose a question you have devoted five or uh, like three to four minutes and there is a solution which can be done it in one or two minutes, then that is uh, like you have to, that is your knowledge is not correct for that question, right? So, just check whichever questions you are taking more time, mark it and check if any, any shortcut method is there for that, right? So, that's all I want to say here. Now, this last week, whatever mock test you write, follow these steps. Write under exam conditions, write in the same time when you are having the exam. Then, while attempting the paper, start with the easiest questions, skip the questions, whichever is difficult, try elimination method and after that, analyze the papers seriously and mark the questions that takes lot long period of time so that you can find some easy solutions to it. There may be that question that there is no easy solution, it has to be in the long way method that can be also there. But there is also possibility of having a easy solution for it that you may not miss it, okay. So, these were some very important tips for your KSA 2024 exam, how to manage the exam, how to manage time, how to be calm, composed during the exam. So, if you have found these tips helpful, please like, share and subscribe our channel for all the exam important strategies and other important updates. So, thank you so much. All the best for your exam. Thank you.